The opening week of the regular season is finally here, so no doubt every player and fan is ready for this matchup between the Carolina Panthers and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers here at Raymond James Stadium. We're about to get things started, Phil, and that includes the beginning of another NFL season. The energy is in the air. Oh, man, players so excited to finally play a real game, and I just caution them with this. Be careful. Don't make a mistake early. It's first down as they head to the line. They motion the receiver around to the other side. Clay Clock's running down. The give to the right side. Bringing the play to an end. Always hard to pick up that first first down. Good job by the offensive coordinator. Designing some plays, keeping the defense off balance to get his team in rhythm. Here they come, back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. Now first and 10. On first down, it's back to the round game. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. Offense lines up here. Second and four. Another handoff. And he is brought down at the 39. That was a terrible read by the running back. It's a short game, but it's all his fault. He picked the wrong hole. He should have cut it back. He didn't, and that's why he was tackled. Defense comes out in a 4-6 formation. Let's go. Third and one. Gets it again here. Good, solid tackle. Short of the first. And now we've got a fourth down situation. They ought to award him four if he makes this. Good. An empty trip for the offense. Two tight ends on the field here. To the ground here. After being stuffed at the line of scrimmage, it's now second down and ten. Looking down the field. The pigskin's on the ground. And James Anderson is credited with that tackle. Nice job by the offense that time, even though they fumbled the football quick enough and smart enough to get on it right away. Offense able to recover the fumble, and now it's third down. Play action fake, and 
dropping back to throw. If you can see the defense is going to try to pressure as a quarterback, you've got to know how to adjust. So don't give those play action fakes. Get in position and get rid of that football. The Carolina Panthers had to love what they saw last year out of their quarterback, Cam Newton. What a rookie performance it was by him. They are ecstatic down in Carolina. Those coaches and that organization, they know they have something to build around. And the Carolina Panthers, it's not about the offense. Well designed and they execute it well. Their problems are on the defensive side. If you want to win games, you've got to slow down the opposing offense a little bit. Buccaneers are getting set for their next possession. Two tights for this play. They better hurry to get the snap. Play fake here. Breaks free. He's in for the score. The wide receivers, they are turned into stars in the NFL. You know why? Because they can make catches like this. What a great catch. The Buccaneers getting set for the extra point. Count it. The Panthers are prepared to return the kickoff. He's got a chance to return this one. He steps out. Panthers come onto the field for their next series. First down here. They give it to the running back. Slashing to the right side. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. The Carolina Panthers were in virtually every game last year with their rookie quarterback. And no one expects anything but some big-time things out of the Panthers, even by now this season. I think the big thing the Panthers have going for them, they believe. They believe in Cam Newton. They believe in their coach, Ron Rivera. That was, I thought, a tremendous first year for a new coach. The first pick of the draft quarterback, it worked great. Now they got to build on it. This has got to be a blitz. Look how everybody's crowding the line of scrimmage. Offense lines up here. First down and 10. The quarterback throws to the right. Shoved to the sideline. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. First down on the way. Back to the air here on first down. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Dangerous pass into double coverage. That was excellent man-to-man -man coverage that time. When you want to shut down a receiver, really the only way to do it is to man up and play him one-on-one. -on -one. Failing to complete that one. So second down here. Steps back to throw. Sticks to his hands. Good job by the offense. Another first down. The defense absolutely is getting tired. And when you get tired, you make mistakes. First down. Offense ready for the snap. Out of the gun. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Thrown incomplete. 
Play number six coming up on this drive. Second down and ten. Looking to the right side and throwing. That pass was hurried. Nice job that time by the defense. Pressure on the quarterback. He does not have time to find an open guy, and it results in an incompletion. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Going across the middle with two hands. He has it. Another first down by the offense, and the happiest guys on the field or off the field right now is the defense. They are getting rested up on the sidelines. Look at that. Everybody at the line of scrimmage, the defense showing a blitz. This will be the eighth play of this drive. 15 minutes down, 45 minutes to go. Back after this word from your local station. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Now in rhythm, the quarterback drops back to throw once more. And that's a touchdown, and they inch closer. There's no doubt about it. When you score like that to tie up the game, it shifts momentum. And it's all up now to the offense of the other team to get back out there and get the momentum back on their side. He's put the ball on the tee, and he's about to kick off. Percy Harvin will be returning this one. Good piece of tackling. Buccaneers getting ready now to start their drive. Defense filling up the box here with a 4-6 formation. The quarterback's calling something out. They need to get the playoff. Throwing now to his left. Tackle at the 29-yard line. Nice job by the quarterback finding the open guy short. They get the completion. They still do not get the first down, though. Wide receivers are bunched up. They send the tight end in motion. Play action. He'll fire it out to the left. That pass looks like a little miscommunication. Incomplete. Number 12, the intended target on the clock. The offense now needs to pick up the first here on third down after that incompletion. That little wiggle just left the defender standing there. Excellent job of just picking up the first down. This offense is hot. Another first down, and they are moving down the field. First down coming up. to the ground now on first down. Number 32 on the carry. Eight to one. 21. 
That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. They feed him the ball again. Right side. And the tackle is made at the 48-yard line. Looks like a run coming up with a full house set behind the quarterback. And he's brought to the ground. When you see a long run like that, you know what it does? It just breaks the will of the defense. In the NFL, that's all about passing. We see all these wonderful things. But when it comes down to it, who can win the war up front? And you win the war by running the football. Great job by the offensive line that time. First and ten. Working that left side. Buccaneers now move the chains. When you have an offense like this that just keeps getting first downs, not only are they moving in scoring position, but they're giving their defense a lot of rest. Interesting. That's a timeout by the defense. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Play action. Quarterback has it on his hip. That ball has been picked off. It's got some daylight. That was a terrible throw by the quarterback. When you're off target like that, you deserve to throw an interception. Here's the safety inching up for this play. There's the quarterback barking out new signals. First and ten. Looks to his left. The reception. Easy. Wide open. Well, they complete the pass, Jim, but doesn't get the first down. Sooner or later, he got to throw one down the field. Nickel formation for the defense here. Quarterback drops back. He's looking to the right here on this throw. What a job by the quarterback finding a way to throw that football and pick up another first down. They are marching down the field right now. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. They feed the running back. Getting close to the two-minute warning. Time for one more play. And they sack the quarterback. And now we reach the two-minute warning here in the second quarter. It's third and 12 here after the sack. This is a five-step drop pass. Eyeing that left side. Interception. That interception is strictly on the quarterback. When you make bad decisions, I don't care how good you can throw the football. The results, usually it's going to turn into an interception. Right. 
Defense with plenty of bodies in the box here on this play. Reaches in, swats it away. And what you do in man-to-man -man defense sometimes, get up there and disrupt the wide receiver. Disrupt his rhythm, disrupt the timing, and what do you get? Another incompletion. Gun, gun, gun! Offense lines up here. Second and ten. Maurice Jones-Drew gets it here. Swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. Loss of two. play was a run third down coming up good job here by the quarterback he doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving him hand signals that time the man-to-man -man coverage won the quarterback had to make a perfect throw he didn't incomplete pass should be a routine punt He's going to try to return it. This is a big time return. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down, takes it from the eye, and gains about one. One yard gain on the play. Look out here, they're going to blitz. They're all packing the line of scrimmage. They bring in an extra defensive back. Second down and nine. He'll fire it out to the left. Holding, oh, we've got an injured player on the field. Well, after watching that play, I think it's safe to say it's a lower body injury. Not sure exactly what it is, but I hope the player's okay. The quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Trying to find an opening to the right. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home, they stay in their gap, and they hold that run to a short game. Brian Mormon, one of the longtime veteran punters, now called on to punt. He thinks twice about returning this one and signals. Fair catch. We saw an injury early in this game, and now we're starting to hear he should be able to return before this one's over. So that's some good news. Yeah, it is good news to him, his family, all the friends, and, of course, the, the fans uh, here in attendance today, they're going to be happy because he has been playing awfully well. Buccaneers ready to take over the football. Real tough starting spot here for the offense. Now first and ten. They're setting up screen. In on the stop. Nice catch by the receiver, but it still doesn't get a first down. Let's go. There we go. Let's go. The quarterback has his team's attention here. Second and short. The quarterback throws to the right. That catch gives them a first down. And he's taken out of bounds. I think the best thing to say about that play, it's just it, it gained a few yards, so that's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple yards.
Look at that whole cadre of receivers on one side. Quarterback sees something in his defense he wants to take advantage of. Look at the hand signals he's given to the receiver outside. Percy Harvin with the grab. And he's pushed out of bounds. Uh, there's nothing the defense can do. When you talk about a receiver like these guys out there now, and, and this one in particular, the double coverage, they're still able to go in between the defenders, rise up, and make the catch. Let's go. The quarterback mixing things up at the line of scrimmage. First down following the long play. First down and 10. Quarterback drops back, play action. Did not get both feet down. Always protect against the deep ball first. That's what the defense did this time. They were alert. Nice job. The result, just a long incompletion. The Buccaneers lining up for a field goal try. And he puts it through for three. So that's going to do it for the first half. Buccaneers are up in this one. We're back here now in this one, where the Buccaneers lead by three. What did you see there, Phil, in that first half? Well, nothing like going in at halftime with the lead. It just makes you feel good. It makes you think all that week's preparation and hard work, we were right in what we were trying to do. So the big thing is in going in at halftime, rest up, be determined, try to come out in the second half and act like you're behind. If you can do that, you can hold on to that lead and go on and win the game. Panthers come onto the field now for this next series. They face first down. That's a pass all the way. Right where it had to be. Falls on the ground. That was an awesome hit by the defense, and it caused the fumble. Offense lines up here. Tight ends in motion here. First and ten. They hand it off to the running back. Has some space to work with. Shoved out of bounds. When you see a long run like that, you know what it does? It just breaks the will of the defense. In the NFL, it's all about passing. We see all these wonderful things. But when it comes down to it, who can win the war up front? And you win the war by running the football. Great job by the offensive line that time. Quick drop back. And he's going to be brought down. It is truly a bonus when you can take your outside linebacker and let him rush the quarterback and he can get a sack. Nice job that time by the outside linebacker. The offensive line gets in position. Can they protect their quarterback? The quarterback's hollering out instructions. He'll throw it over the middle. The defense had that one covered. Good job that time by the secondary. They're in good position. They make the play, and it's an incomplete pass by the quarterback. Offense lines up here. Third and 13. Ball spotted away. Got to give the secondary credit. In this passing league now, it's hard to make plays, but a good play there and another incomplete pass. They're in punting formation. Signals right away, fair catch. Buccaneers getting set now for their next series. 
They come to the line, and it's first down. Right. Here we go. Here's the handoff to Maurice Jones-Drew. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight film, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. Five-step drop, trying to work that left side, right where it had to be. And they get to him at the 45. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose. Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. Quarterbacks calling something out. First and ten. Play action fake. Looking to throw. Makes the catch in the open field. Count it. Touchdown. Terrible job by the defense. Lack of hustle. Bad tackling. You name it. They allowed the short throw and catch to go all the way down the field for a score. made it following the extra point the Buccaneers lead by 10 the Panthers are prepared to return the kickoff and he'll start his return he's brought down at the 25 yard line The offense lined up in the full house. And he wants to throw it across the middle. Nice tackle. That time the pass is completed into double coverage, Jim, but the quarterback made a bad read. But these receivers, they are so good nowadays. That time in double coverage, he went up and made the catch. It's like Bill Parcell said to me once about Mark Mavaro, a very talented receiver. He goes, remember, Sims, when he's covered, he's open. Second down here. Out of the shotgun formation. Looking across the middle. Perfectly thrown. Well, this man-to-man -man coverage, bad job by the defense. The defensive back so slow, no chance of keeping up with the wide receiver. That long gain sets them up here on this play. There's the quarterback barking out new signals. Looks around, and he's forced to the ground. Nice job that time for the outside linebacker getting the sack. They ask a lot of these guys now. They are special players in the NFL. Stopping the run and the speed to get outside and get the sacks on the quarterback, too. Second down coming up. 
Good job here by the quarterback. He doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing. the. That ball is picked off. Not giving up another inch. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled. Being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did. They got the interception. Running formation here. Offense in the full house set. First down and ten. Maurice Jones drew. That brings the play to an end. You got to keep your offensive lineman aggressive, so you have to run the football every once in a while. That run, even though it was a short game, it served a purpose. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Got a hand on it, and it's incomplete. This defense can pressure the quarterback. There's no doubt about it. They did this time, and it results in another incompletion. Third down on the way. down and seven play action fake and dropping back the throw interception what a terrible job by the quarterback nobody's open tries to force the pass and look what's it turn into an interception offense lines up here First and ten. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. The Panthers get a first down. Nowadays, it's getting harder and harder to play this tight man-to-man -man coverage because you're not even allowed to touch these, these superstar wide receivers. First down here, press coverage all the way. The quarterback has his team's attention here. And now on first down, they'll go back to the air. Trying to work the middle of the field. Incomplete, almost going in the other direction. The play doesn't even have time to develop. The quarterback is under so much pressure, he's throwing it before these receivers are even ready. Quarterback sees something in his defense he wants to take advantage of. Look at the hand signals he's given to the receiver outside. He's going deep. And the throw, it's incomplete. It'll be third down. Takes the staff from the shotgun. The quarterback throws the pass. Great coverage there on that pass attempt. That's a wonderful job that time by the secondary. Everybody's in position. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. And it leads to another incomplete pass. And the kick is good for three. Never take it for granted. When you're trying to field goal, a lot of things could go wrong. But good execution at time by the offense and a good kick. Three points. They pounce on him there.
Buccaneers get ready to start their drive. Trying to beat the play clock. Quarterback dropping back, looking to get the feet planted. Sometimes you got to give the coaches credit. They design a play that's smart, easy for the players to manage, and what we got there is a throw and a catch, and now they have a pretty good chance of getting the first down. Coming up, second down. Left. Hey, let's go. Get up. Get on, Hunt. It's handed to the running back. He's headed right. They bring him to the turf. Well, it's about deceiving the defense, isn't it? That's how you get a lot done in the NFL. And when you can run and pass, you can deceive them in a lot of ways. Nice job by the offense running that football, picking up another first down and moving the chains. It's first down as they head to the line. Play fake here. Gets away from the heat. Pass is picked off by Tremont Williams. That'll stop the play right there. Right, well, I have to say that's just a terrible decision by the quarterback there. He's got to know. When you're in a situation like this, you just cannot make that type of pass. He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. That incompletion by the quarterback, hey, I give the quarterback no fault. That was just tremendous coverage by the secondary player. He's in position and able to uh, make the football be incomplete. The quarterback mixing things up at the line of scrimmage. Throwing now to his left. Squeezes it into coverage. Tackle by Antrell Roll. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down, keep those chains moving. Give yourself three more opportunities. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Hand off. And he is brought down at the 45-yard line. Yeah, the draw play, it's been around forever, and it is still a valuable asset to all offenses. Make the defense think past. You hand it off. You get them retreating, and you can pick up a few extra yards. They load it up now, bring out the jumbo formation. Three-step drop, makes the catch in open space. Another first down by the offense. The defense is definitely getting fatigued, and when you get fatigued, you cannot think, so look out. They've got a first down now after that catch. From the shotgun. Trying to find an open man. I know a lot of people are going to be surprised by this, but when you take those blindside hits, they don't hurt as much as you think because you had no idea it was coming, your body's loose, and you can absorb the hit. Play number six coming up on this drive. The quarterback's hollering out instructions. Drop back, shotgun formation. Challenges, touchdown, and they get one back. Good job by the offense. They get in there, they tie this game up. Now we'll see if the defense can take advantage of that momentum and keep it on their side. And the point after is good. Panthers ready to get the pigskin in the air. Percy Harvin gets the chance to return this kickoff. Shakes off the hit. 
Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. Well, that's a good sight for all the fans to see. He gets up and walks off the field. I think he's going to be okay. He's just going to need a couple minutes to catch his breath, and, and uh, we'll see him back on the field, it looks like, shortly. Buccaneers are getting set for their next possession. They bring in the extra tight end. Play action. The defense gets a sack. Quarterback made a big mistake that time. Don't carry out the play action fake when you know you're under pressure. He tries to do it. It results in the sack. The quarterback's calling something out. Second down now. There's the quarterback barking out new signals. Hey, let's go. Here we go. He drops back to throw. Just had to avoid the sack. Incomplete. Well, the protection was bad. Quarterback didn't have the time. He's off balance, and he throws the incompletion. Looking at third down. Left. Go. He'll fire it out to the left. Brings it in. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. That's a face mask call. And, of course, for now on, it's 15 yards no matter how you slice it. They don't even have to interpret it anymore. The severity of it, it's a big penalty. Yeah, it is a big penalty. Uh, you know, one thing, you know why we see a lot of face mask penalties in the NFL now? It's because players tackle too high. Get your arms around the waist. Go down low to make those tackles, and you wouldn't get those face mask penalties. Go, go, ground. Picks up about two. Well, a short gain on the run that time by the offense. When you're a running football team, listen, there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just got to keep running it. Good job here by the quarterback. He doesn't hey, like go. what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving him hand signals. Wide open for the catch. Well, that's a nice throw and catch by the quarterback and receiver. Puts him in good position where they have a chance to pick up this third down. The game is tied, and time is a factor. Let's go. Let's go. Third down and three. Maurice Jones-Drew gets it here. The tackle is made short of the first, and that'll bring up fourth down. The punt team is in place and ready to perform. Two minutes remaining, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Panthers come on to the field for their next series. They load up one side with a whole flock of receivers. Running for his life. He's brought down.
full house formation. Second down and eight. Working that left side. The quarterback throws it on the mark. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. First down here after the completion. The give to the running back. A tackle behind the line. Defense comes out in the nickel. Dropping back to throw. Challenging the defenders to the right side. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. What a job by the quarterback. Finding a way to throw that football and pick up another first down. They are marching down the field right now. We are tied, and this game has less than a minute to go. First and ten. Running back gets it on the handoff. Pushes aside one tackler. The defense will take the penalty. They'll take that gift from the defense and line up now with a new set of downs. It's a throw all the way. Right where it had to be. Well, the quarterback gets the completion. It's going to look good on the stat sheet, but there was no chance of getting the first down by catching and running against this defense. Quarterback's got to be a little braver and throw the football down the field. Defense comes out of the nickel. Second down and five. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. They've got him down there. You got to keep your offensive line aggressive. So you got to let them run the football so they can hit those defensive linemen. The run didn't pick up many yards, but it's still certain. Play number six coming up on this drive. Third down and two. We'll run with it again. <laughs> Tackles made. Well, when you get down here this close, you've got to be tough, big, and strong to get in the end zone. That time, he falls a couple inches short. And they're going to call a timeout here to stop the clock. Should be an easy one here. And converts on the three. The points on the board may, in fact, seal this victory. Oh, I think it did seal the victory, Jim. What a day for this.